<laughs> Lots of activity in the tropics. The Atlantic is busy. We've got two systems in the Gulf of Mexico. Sally actually made landfall this morning just before our broadcast began. And this tropical wave in the Bay of Campeche, we've got to pay close attention to into next week. More on that. Uh, in a sec, but Sally, category two hurricane still made landfall, had 105 mile per hour winds near Gulf Shores, Alabama, uh, and this storm is now gonna slow move inland. It's going to be a big rain producer uh, and weaken down to a tropical storm uh, on Thursday morning and finally down to a depression and remnant low through Friday as it makes its way into the Carolinas. This storm is not a threat to Texas and it looks like the Gulf is going to quiet down today with its sloshing around from that storm. So uh, it won't be quite as risky with the rip currents out there and the waves are going to settle down today. 76 right now, the tower cam is showing a smooth SPID. We've got a light west to northwest wind at five miles per hour and the radar is pretty quiet here right now, although we'll see a chance for an isolated shower pop up now as we head into the afternoon thanks to daytime heating. Texas is pretty quiet here today. We, we are watching a little disturbance uh, to the north and west of the area. You can't really see it on the water vapor imagery, but I circled it uh, on where the energy is. This is not going to be a hugely developed system, meaning it's not going to be very well defined. It's going to be ragged. It's going to slowly drift over central Texas Thursday and then through south Texas on Friday. Uh, but both of those days should offer us a chance, a better chance for more wide and then as it moves into the Gulf, uh, we'll drop the rain chances off on Saturday. Uh, so this system, again, is going to move in. We'll see the coverage expand here Thursday with respect to rain chances. Uh, so more widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. That'll be Thursday and Friday. And as this moves east into the Gulf, it's actually going to drop a very weak cold front in and that's mainly going to lower the humidity highs will still be in the upper 80s lows will be in the low 70s uh, but this will end the rain chance and again lower the humidity a bit as we work into the weekend Getting back now to this tropical wave in the Bay of Campeche. This has been around for a while. It's sitting pretty stationary right now. It was moving to the south, but the new data now kind of suggests an about face. The Hurricane Center for reference there is giving it a 40% chance to develop over the next five days, but that only takes us uh, into and through the weekend. Beyond that, forecast guidance does suggest that this does try and develop into next week, but uh, the track and the intensity both are highly questionable at this point. Uh, it could drift into Mexico middle of next week or north toward Texas later next week. I don't really see a whole lot of signals suggesting huge intensification. So at this point, I'd say it's most likely going to be a rainmaker. Uh, but as we've seen in the past, these things change and we've got to keep watching what the data is telling us that's what it is right now and this wouldn't be until a week or more from today we do have another rain chance to get through before that today it's just going to be isolated showers although the coverage looks more impressive than that on the simulated radar tomorrow we will see a better chance for rain more widely scattered activity on Thursday and on Friday and that's actually going to lead uh, to several inches of rain I'm thinking between a half inch and two inches of rain on average between right now and Saturday morning with this rain chance so it does look like we're in for uh, some decent rain around here and much needed rain we'll have isolated activity today mostly cloudy otherwise and a high of 90 degrees with a northeast wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour tonight 76 isolated showers remain possible and then the better chances come in Thursday and Friday that'll keep highs in the upper 80s there's that weak front it's gonna bring us some sunshine less humidity and slightly cooler temperatures still though upper 80s in the daytime low 70s at night and by the way the first day of autumn next Tuesday <laughs> 